What side should the red be on? The left. Okay. This is that tricky area. Okay. What's our depth? Oh, we just lost it. Last time I looked, it was 12. Okay, we're good. So it gives a little bit of power to give us some control on the rudder. Okay, good, good, good. We're doing good. So reds are on our port as we go up the intracoastal waterway. Okay. As they have been all day long. Okay. So this red to our port to our left over there at 11 o'clock right now, uh -huh. what number is it? Eight. 82 and see if there's a suffix, a alpha suffix like A, B, C, D. No suffix on that one, okay. Check our water depth. A little bit of speed for steerage. 12 feet. Okay, we're good. And there's the Matanzas Fort right over there. Matanzas means bloody. And actually, Fort is a fort, technically a battery, a very small fort. And we are in the Matanzas Inlet part of the Intracoastal Waterway. Very shallow. What color is that guy up there? Green. Okay, so that'll be on our starboard. And then the one after that green, what color is he? Green. Okay. He's in the shadow, but he's got a flat top, so we know he's green. Okay. Remember, Jolly Green Giant comes in a can. <laughs> Silly thing, but it works. It works. Grab your binocular to see what number that green is. Charlie? Yes. Okay, so that's an extra. Charlie, ABC, so that's the third extra. Bravo is the second extra. Alpha is the first extra. So that means that the sandbar is moved out over to the left, and the Coast Guard has come put these extra buoys in place to help us guide around the sandbar. And we're showing 7.2 right there. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing good. So 81, Charlie. And head next to uh, 81 Bravo, which is 1230 on our bow. And where's 81 Alpha? Over there. Way, way over there. Way over okay. There. Now, all of that big sand hill over there is spoils. That sand where they dredge out this channel and dump the sand up there. some sand for your sandbox, just drive over here and grab a, yeah. a truckload. Our depth is still good? Yeah, 6.9. Okay, we're great. That's under keel, so we're good. And as we pass this buoy, you will notice we've got the yellow decal in a coastal waterway. And I can see what looks like an 8 or a B for Bravo. So that's an 81 Bravo. Good deal. So where are you headed now? I'm going to head to the right of that green buoy. Okay, the technical terminology is leave the green buoy to starboard. Okay, leave the green buoy to starboard. And after we get to that green buoy, and we're going to assume that is uh, 81 Alpha, uh -huh. and after we pass 81 Alpha, you can see a green one on a piling, yes. and in between 81 Alpha and the piling, there's another floating buoy. What color is that? Red. So that means we will go a little bit left, and then a little bit right, and then a little bit left again. Okay. Now look at the disturbed water and the smooth water, and you can tell that the water patterns are different. Alpha on that buoy, so that's 81 Alpha. Okay. What's our depth? 11. 11 feet. We're doing good. So we came upon 81 Alpha, 81 Bravo, 81 Charlie. So those were extra buoys because the sandbar has moved. And our depth is still good? Yes, 
Okay, so there's 81 Alpha. And if you had an outboard, you go anchor back there, and take your outboard and go out to the ocean. And that small port is a Spanish port called the Kansas. About 150, 200. So there's our red, the yellow marker, intracoastal. And we'll head straight for that green piling. So this is 80 Bravo, 80 Bravo. So that's also an extra buoy. Zero Bravo, then we have to find eight zero alpha, which we assume is that. suffix on a piling with a light so that's a day beacon. I look at the pile and see how it's went for about two feet above the water level. That's the tide more. And is the tide coming in or going out? It's coming in because it's coming in through Matanzas Pass and it's running northward the same way that we're traveling. So we'll get a free boost on speed. Turbo. So there's red 80, day marker, no light. And then we've got green and red, and we'll keep going to the right, 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 and then we'll come back to the left, to left, left. And in a little while, you'll be able to see the 65-foot bridges in South St. Augustine. 